Hello everybody and welcome to an empty workshop here at Not Your Average Bikes. Apart from Kieran and me, we are here. We are running the shop today it seems. Uh, not really, we're just here we're just on goodwill as <laughs> as usual. We're investigating the dings. Yeah, there's a lot of dinging. Please forgive the dinging. And also please forgive my voice. I've got a little bit of a sore throat. Poor me. Um, and Poor you, John. <laughs> Poor bike. Poor where bike. did we leave things last time? Well, where did we leave things last time, Kieran? crack upon the engine we did yeah if you've not watched part two we'll fill you in right now we discovered a crack on the engine of our Yamaha XS250 project so we have correct. been <laughs> ding correct so we've been trying to work out what to do we've been chatting to the fellas here at not your average bikes and we are going to get another engine for the bike so that's good news Fingers crossed. assuming that the replacement one is not also a is bag not of poo. also buggered yeah so we left uh, we left it last time with the crack in the engine block so we can't do anything on that today so what can we do Kieran you tell us what we can do we can do many things whatever you put your heart to can we do some bits we can do some bits and some bobs some bobs so uh, what bits and bobs are we gonna do I today think we're gonna kick things off with the forks getting those disassembled and seeing what potentially horrendous condition they're in cool boom um, forks Perhaps the front caliper, if we have uh, time from the horrendous conditions. Front caliper, boom, yeah. Yes, and uh, you know, we'll see where our hearts take us. What other bits and bobs we find along the way? Uh. Let's go! And there it is. Just to reiterate, there is the crack in the engine block. Oh no, what a disaster. Otherwise, completely stripped down into its component pieces. We have finally removed the cap from this fork leg. It has taken, as I've just said to these guys, two hours, two people, and all the tools in the world. That was well and truly stuck in there. And I don't know that it's entirely free of the spring itself, because... Fun and game. There are some forks that are disassembled. They were a right royal pain in the arse, to be honest. It took quite a lot of effort to get those apart. But we got there in the end, lots of crusty nubbins. Looking better than they were, but obviously all these indentations is uh, pneumatic force of doom. Air chisel. We do like the air chisel. But yeah, they are in uh, in their pieces. We have used a little bit of, what do, what do you call that? One of those scouring pads to yeah. um, sort of brush these, to give them this brushed look they've come up quite nicely we are going to probably keep them like that so as to celebrate the age of the bike yeah. and we're going to put some new fork seals in because these are not new they're right royally rogered and we'll Ooh. see what else we need so we're going to start rebuilding this new seals thanks what are you doing there sir um in this moment we're taking a look at sexual health and uh, education um, I can't help but notice that you've bagged up there, Kieran. Well, safety third. Um, we've got this uh, sleeve uh, fork seal, should I say, and this little nifty trick of getting the plastic cover over so that if there are any rough spots or nicks in there that you're not going to cause any damage to that seal that you've got, just got freshly in place. So we right. have a go at dragging this down. Oh, that's just oh. filthy. And we, uh, I'll hold it, Kieran, while you uh, deal with this. I'm gonna try and peel away the, the bag. All right, let's come back to this. Now, Kieran's got that in there. We need to drive that seal in. And if you don't have the correct size fork seal driver, what you can do is just snip down into your shed um, take the fork leg off your Kawasaki ER6, put it on your big massive lathe and um, lathe that down so that it is in fact now the correct size to do this. So Beautifully done. An easy job for the DIY person there. Yeah, top tip. I, ca I can't see why you wouldn't have all of those things available. Say it Kieran, top tip. 
from the garage. Top tip from the garage. I think that's bang on. That's exactly where it needs to be, I'm telling you. <sighs> Time for a brew, and uh, John needs a sandwich, uh, so let's sort him out. Man tools. Feeling good about yourself. <laughs> oh, yes. Your mother would be proud. All right, it's caliper time. We are gonna strip this bad boy down. Let's see what we've got inside, if anything at all. Um, I think going by the, the feel of the brake, I wouldn't be surprised if this is pretty much empty. Place your bets now. Rack. There we go. A bit of a stiffy there. Filth, pure filth. Whoa. What's behind mm -hmm. door number two? Not a lot, not a lot. Okay, that's probably why the brakes didn't work. Right, now we're attempting to remove the piston from the caliper and we're using the airline. We have referred to the manual here. You will notice it's not the manual for this bike, but it is the perfect size to fit in there and stop the piston flying off into the distance. Potentially. So, well, we'll find out, won't we? Okay, brace for impact. Or not. Well, you're getting some movement. Yep. Oh, again, that was sort of disappointing. The explosion yeah. was not nearly as good as it could have been. I think mainly because the seal that's on it is pretty much funky. It's funky seal. Let's have a look then. Some holes. And a dirty ass piston. Ew! <laughs> 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 And so it came to pass that John Kieran had to go to work. So that, dear friends, is the end of this video, and we shall see you in the next one.